you want to figure out how to get from this to this, stay tuned. What is going on YouTube? I am very excited today to share a new project. Today we're going to be working with sublimation on tumblers. That's right, I said it, tumblers, okay? We have been doing t-shirts in the past and we're going to be doing something new. I've never done a tumbler before. I'm actually a little nervous, but I'm hoping that the viewership will calm me down. We're all friends here, right? Right, YouTube family? So. Forgive my mistakes and errors, and let us start this process. Let's go. So, first thing I want to do when I want to do sublimation is I want to go to the Sawgrass website, to sawgrassinc.com. And what I want to do is I want to go to Creative Studio right here. Click on Creative Studio, and I am automatically signed in. It remembers my username and password. And let us go to the top left hand corner here and click on start creating all right what we are looking for is a these are all the templates that uh, Creative Studio from, from Sawgrass has to offer let us scroll down and then let's look for drinkware which is right here click on that I'm going to be working with sublimation blanks that are 20 ounces and they're 20 ounce skinny tumblers there is no tapering no abnormal shapes just a straight tumbler uh, let's see what we have here that is a 30 ounce so what we're going to be looking for is the 20 ounce okay so we scroll down some more there are different pages several pages here we are looking for the 20 ounce and it is not on this page let us go to the third page okay not on the fifth page six page you cannot disappoint me six page come on six page all right lucky number seven lucky number seven and this is it that's a stainless steel if you don't believe it right here it has the objects and the product details it's a luma steel 20 ounce skinny tumbler and it tells you the print area including bleed so we are good to go here now I am looking for a very nice image to go on that tumbler all right it's gonna look good on the computer and I hope it doesn't look better in the computer than in real life uh, I hope I don't screw this up royally so here's what we're going to do we are going to go to Etsy okay so I am signed in and here's what we need to do I'm going to go here and search for Audi I'm an Audi guy as you all know so I'm gonna go Audi tumbler and let's look for a design that would be fantastic and here it is I already purchased this design but I just wanted to walk you through the steps of purchasing so uh, you can increase the image size and I think that looks good it's got the spill it's got the Audi and it's got some stuff written in German um, I prefer this because it has the Audi logo it's got the paint spill and it just has a rugged look to it so I'm gonna go with that and I think this is also good enough to hide some of my mistakes maybe if the seam is not correct but let's hope for the best so all you have to do is click on buy it now and when you buy it now it's gonna ask for uh, your card details which I've already put in and once you download it will be in your downloads folder let's drag that let's see it here bring in my downloads folder from the other screen and let's increase that okay it is the Audi not the tapered not the 30 ounce it is the 20 ounce okay all right there it is that's what it looks like if you don't believe me here it is I hit my space bar on my Mac oh by the way I am using a Mac computer and not a Windows I have both but I prefer to use my Mac all right so here's what it is I hit my spacebar and it goes back down there so let's go back into our creative design studio and import that picture okay so we move over down here to where it says galleries you click on that and then you click on upload image Okay, and you click on the upload image right here and then you just look for your downloaded image which is in this case the straight 20 ounce tumbler you click on that 
and what will happen is that it will load it under your images and I've already hearted this one just to keep it as my favorites and this is the image I go ahead and click on it and it will automatically transfer here so I want to make sure that I fill in this workspace that it's given me and I'm going to change this to inches what I want to do here is I want to drag this so it fills up this page okay but as you can see my I changed it to inches but my aspect ratio ratio is locked so I am only limited to increasing it proportionately so I do not want that so I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this lock aspect ratio move this image right to the middle and drag to where my image fills up that canvas okay bring it back up there make sure it fills it up down here all right I think that looks good as we have dimensions of 11.11 by 8.35 inches so what we want to do after this is we want to go ahead and print top right hand corner right here and of course whenever you are sublimating you want to go ahead and mirror that my mirror image is checked so I'm going to leave that I am printing on stainless steel so that's metal okay just tells the printer how much ink to use it'll use a little less as opposed to printing on polyester or fabric okay it has my paper as text print art I am fine with that my color quality I mean my print quality is going to be high quality I am going to pick the vivid and everything else should remain the same okay what we want to do right now is we want to go ahead and click on the print my sawgrass print manager should pop up and it's telling me that the print has successfully queued I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK okay so I've got my print manager over here we want to make sure everything is correct our substrate is metal it tells us how much ink to use my printer SG 500 high quality that's very good text print R is my paper tray one and my mirror image over here we go into the layouts and let's see if we preserve it from the designer here's what happens okay this is what we had initially as you can see it has a space on the top all right but when we preserve it it fills that up okay so what it does is it trims white space and it centers my design on my eight and a half by 11 us letter standard size all right we're good to go on that tab we want to go over to the jobs we got that job lined up and in queue vivid photo other we don't need because we are not printing to file so the next thing we're going to do is to print but let me make sure my paper is loaded okay so got my paper in there my transfer sheet on my sublimation paper and I want to go ahead and click that print button and it's going to finally send to printer all right and here is our image we are moving right along guys that's what it looks like of course it does not look vibrant right now and I'm hoping that once I transfer that image to my blank stainless steel skinny tumbler 20 ounce it will be it'll bring out all the colors all right let's go ladies and gentlemen boys and girls I got some unboxing to do today I received this in the mail from Amazon and it is a PYD Life tumbler heat press machine. This is a combination you can do mud presses and tumblers um, range in, in size to a maximum of 30 ounces. You could do two mud presses, uh, two muds at the same time because of the um, dimensions and it is a PYD Life tumbler, tumbler heat press like I said. Um, it is mint green in color. Um, and once I open it, you'll see that. Okay, let's go ahead and start the process of unboxing this baby. Got my handy knife. So at this point I just decided to speed up the video, didn't want to bore you with the 
details of unboxing if you want a separate video especially for the unboxing with in-depth review uh, please put it in the comments section and I'll try to release a new video but nothing more to see here and it comes with of course a power cord to plug into my 110 volt power supply okay I'm gonna be honest with you guys I'm in love with this machine it's beautiful looking I mean it doesn't do it justice seeing it on the video beautiful mint green seems very sturdy uh, great job on the part of the engineers from PYD life I like the way the screen sits in the middle saving me a lot of desk space and not to the side um, very legible temperature controls as you'll see coming up all around great great machine so now I'm going to connect power to PYD life nice and secure Okay, and let's see. Okay, that's 392. Let's reduce it to 356. Let's go 360. 120 seconds. Okay, all right, so we got it set for 360, so it's heating up from 162, and that's pretty quickly. It's heating up pretty fast, which is a little faster than my wallet press, so that's not bad. Okay, I've got 120 seconds, so I'm gonna press one side of my mug, um, and then turn it over 180 degrees and do it for another 60 seconds. All right, guys? Cool. All right, now my mug press is already set to a temperature of 360 degrees. These, it, this is my blank sublimation tumbler. I um, got this from Amazon. It says sublimation tumbler, stainless steel. And it's a 20 ounce skinny tumbler. Let's open that up, see what it comes with. <clears throat> and it does come with this metallic straw, as well as a skinny cleaning brush to clean the straw, okay? So on the inside of this, uh, it's a pretty good purchase from Amazon. Uh, you want to take the cap off. It does come with a non-slip rubber that has some 3M tape. You peel off and you stick it to the bottom. So my eventual uh, tumbler won't slide, okay? So we're gonna take that and keep that aside. And it also comes with some shrink wrap. So if you're going to bake this in the oven, you would insert this in this shrink sleeve and then use a heat gun and shrink wrap this so it's well protected. All right, let's put the cover aside. All right, so this is my substrate. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to clean this up, off. Uh, take a lint roller and also roll it, and then I'm going to start my press. Right. Okay. Any lint or anything that you can't see with the naked eye, get that out. Okay, put that aside. Then we're going to take our already printed, as you can see I already printed that, that's the Audi, Audi design. And I'm going to lay my mug on it to see what my fit looks like, I believe, okay? So I have this extra white space just for overlap. And then I'm going to trim the edges. Okay. 
Now I don't have a paper cutter, so I'm going to use my dull scissors and trim the border. Um, I have a paper cutter coming in the mail from Amazon, so that will make this process a little quicker. But in the meantime, we're going to use what we have to get what we want done. All right, guys? So, trim that all the way down here. I'm going to trim that here. Trim that part and trim right here. See what this looks like right now. Don't forget to mirror your image, guys, all right? So that's going to sit perfectly over that with no problems. My sheet is still a little too wide, so I'm going to trim a little of that white space. Get this out of the way. Okay. All right. So we're going to get some tape here. Make sure that's tight around. Get some heat resistant tape. Hey look guys, I'm getting all fancy here. I got this fancy tape dispenser that cuts the tape for me. So look at me getting fancy. All right, I'm gonna take that middle so we have that nice and snug. And then that edge. So it's advisable to use, based on my research, as much tape as possible because this prepping process is what, this could be the difference between a perfectly sublimated image and one that is not. Okay, so we wanna make sure we prep that very, very well, and has to be nice and tight with no spaces in between. Again, guys, I'm speeding up the video for the sake of brevity. Um, again, just make sure you tape as much as you can, cover all your bases. Any pockets you see, you can smooth it out with your hand or you can use a squeegee tool. But for me, for my first projects on uh, the sublimation of this tumbler, I just decided to use my hand and tape as much as I can. So you're going to end up using a lot more tape than you think um, in any of these sublimation of tumblers or mug presses just to make sure that my paper binds to my substrate properly. Okay, just make sure you look for any spots where you see spaces between the transfer or the sublimation print and the actual surface of the mug because if you don't then you're going to be left with white so you want every single part of your ink or your image have in contact with your stainless steel tumbler okay this is my first tumbler press guys so I am being as careful as possible in making sure that my ink maintains contact with my substrate. All right, see that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna use that seam to measure or to gauge if I'm at 180 degrees. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this do it. Um, I seam up for 60 seconds and then seam down for 60 seconds. All right. And then some parchment paper. All right. But I'm not going to take. 
tape and parchment paper. All right, so let's do this. So, Seam up, all right. Let's go. Okay, I gotta make sure I've got firm pressure. Okay, so I wanna maintain that. So I turn my knobs, my pressure knobs, so it's nice and tight in there. Okay. 60 seconds. Down for fifty seconds. I'm just take this time to put on my gloves as well because that thing is pretty darn hot. It's gotta be one size fits all because I've got some big hands. scouting me. Alright, so here's what we have. Looks like it did it. Turn this off and move it aside. Peeling time, guys. The moment of truth. Okay. Everything takes a long, a long process here. Remove all my heat-resistant tape. Wow guys, boom, this is a boom moment guys, let me know what you think, let me come closer so you can see that, look at that, it says Audi, and it says Vorsprung Deutsch Technik which I think translates to advancement in technology. All right, that's what Audi is. Let's take some of that tape off. As you can see, I was trying to make sure that the paper went all the way underneath so you don't have any white space on the edges. So it kind of wraps around, so job done. All right, there's a little bit of overlap here, but I picked this design so you don't necessarily see that seam. But, you know, not bad for a first design. All right, let's get rid of my I will call that success, guys. Now here's what we do next. We get the slip surface on non-slip surface. You take out that tape, 3M tape, and then you glue to the bottom of it. Just like that. Okay? It says hand wash only. Right there. So it stays right on the table. Okay? Then the coup de grace, the finishing touch, 
would be to take our straw out. And like I said, it's just a little brush. Okay, that if you want to clean it, it fits right in the straw. Get that over there. Put your straw. And you're ready to go. Voila. 20 ounce skinny tumbler, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. More videos like this coming your way. Boom.